Rob, federal officials and the National Indian Gaming Commission have until the first week of April to respond to the city's lawsuit. And neighbors like the Open Door Mission don't necessarily want to stop the casino from being built. They just don't want it in their backyard. Life at the Open Door Mission is hard enough. We actually are in overflow and have been in overflow um, for several months. And President Candace Gregory says it's only going to get worse if the Ponca tribe builds a casino down the street in Carter Lake. Yes, the temptation will be there. Gregory says a third of the people the Open Door Mission serves admit to having a gambling problem. And that's with having to ride a bus or hitch a ride or, or travel across a bridge to get to it. And this is going to be within walking distance. We're not the boogeyman. Chairman of the Ponca Tribe, Larry Wright Jr., says they want to be a good neighbor to the entire community. We want the best uh, for our experience for the people that come to our facility, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're being responsible as well. The Ponca Tribe says the casino would have 2,000 slot machines, a 150-room hotel, and would create about 1,500 jobs. Strawberries, please. Gregory says she's all for a prospering business. She just wants it somewhere else. Could it be built somewhere that's not in such close proximity to people who are vulnerable? The Ponca Tribe chairman tells me they are still in the planning stages of the casino and don't have any plans as of yet to break ground here. All of this depends, though, on how long they could be tied up in that lawsuit. In Carter Lake, Michelle Van Duer, KETV News Watch 7.